Hello, I'm Rohit Iyengar, the creator of Musical Improv UAE. Musical Improv is a branch of improvised theatre, which is a subset of theatre in general. Wikipedia defines improv as the form of theatre in which most or all of what is performed is unplanned or unscripted, created spontaneously by the players on stage. In its purest form, the dialogues, actions, story and characters are created collaboratively by the performers. Improvisers will often request the audience for suggestions like a location, an emotion or a relationship between characters. <laughs> The beach, you're in Dubai Mall, public bath. Oh, okay. <laughs> they will then build scenes around those suggestions. Musical improv extends those fundamental characteristics and incorporates spontaneous improvised songs. Let's just finish this up and then let's get out of here. I'm with you, I don't want to do this shit anymore. An onstage musician, like myself, or an audio tech will supply backing tracks for the players to sing to. Cleaning up messes day by day We've been working and slaving every day Another branch of musical improv is the silent scene, also known as a mime scene in which actors on stage don't say any dialogues, but they tell a story that is guided by the musician's offers. If the musician plays a sad melody, you have a sad scene. If the musician offers happy sounding music, You have a happy scene. The speed of the music can also influence the actor's actions. Faster music generally heightens the excitement and speeds up the actor's actions, while slow music generally calms the scene down, relaxes the actors, and slows the overall pace of the action. So that was a quick overview of improvised theatre and two branches of musical improv, spontaneous songs and music-guided silent scenes. In the next video, we will discuss how the inclusion of spontaneous songs can affect the scenes that we perform. Thank you for watching this quick introduction about musical improv powered by SBR Productions. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook, and follow me on Instagram.